This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by GoToAssist, the number one global market leader in remote support. So, big shakeup in the world of HTC this week, with CEO Peter Chow being replaced by Cher Wang. And perhaps most intriguing is in the press release announcing her appointment, it was suggested that perhaps HTC might be admitting defeat in the smartphone market altogether. Mm. <laughs> Now check out this carefully worded statement by the new CEO of HTC, Chair Wang. We pioneered the smartphone industry. Now we're applying that thinking to realize the potential of a new generation of connected products and services. So said HTC co-founder and chairwoman, Cher Wang, in the press release that accompanied her announcement as CEO. Does this mean that HTC is admitting defeat in the smartphone market? Only time will tell, but it does at least signal a pragmatic acknowledgement that the company will never again regain its 2000 high if it stays on its current path. You see, HTC claimed over 10% of the worldwide smartphone market in Q2 of 2011, and was the market leader in the US in Q3 in 2011, that worldwide market share has now dropped below 2%. The company posted an annual loss in 2013, and despite a return to narrow profitability in the last three quarters of 2011, sales are stagnant. Now I know what you're thinking. Some of you are thinking, Jace, HTC makes a gorgeous product. The HTC One is a beautiful phone. I mean, it's a knock out of the park, especially the original HTC One. So, if they make such a gorgeous phone, why aren't they selling? Because marketing is not a battle of products, it's a battle of perception. If you read this book, I talked about it a couple weeks ago, The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, it just spills out so clearly what's happening in the smartphone market right now. Why is Apple so much wildly popular than any other manufacturer when their phones aren't necessarily better? It's a battle of perception, not of products. But that's not the only problem that HTC has. Combine that with a lack of influence with carriers feeds into HTC's biggest weakness over the last few years. Being forced into exclusive deals with carriers has hobbled HTC in the US with a fragmented brand and saddled its devices with bloatware. It has slowed the Android update process, eroding HTC's reputation as the leading Android brand. And further to that battle of perception, HTC's advertising campaigns have been questionable. HTC climbed to its peak when it let the product do the talking. The quote, quietly brilliant slogan was inspired. People recommended HTC phones and sought them out because they were really good and there were very few comparable competitors at the time. Hiring Robert Downey Jr. as your brand ambassador and making corny, wacky ads that don't make even a mention of the product is the polar opposite of the original approach. And it's no surprise that it's not working. So what's the new strategy? Well, it turns out it may already be underway. And in short, it's virtual reality. Cher Wang says, the overwhelming response that our virtual reality product, HTC Vive, received earlier this month underlies the importance of these new connected technologies for our future. If you haven't seen anything about it yet, then it's time you take a look at HTC's virtual reality collaboration with the gaming giant, Valve. The Vive has the potential to be the VR product of the next few years, and if VR really takes off this time, that could send HTC soaring to new heights. The diversification won't end there because HTC's Executive Director of Global Marketing, Jeff Gaddis, recently told International Business Times that the company's Connected Products Business Unit, which was created last summer, will also be tackling the home automation market. Now when I say the word fast food, what do you think of? McDonald's. When you ask for a tissue paper, you don't say tissue paper, you say, may I have a Kleenex? When you go to the kitchen looking for cellophane wrap, you don't ask for cellophane wrap, you ask for saran wrap. That's because these products, these services, are first in their category. They are top of mind in the consumer market. That's why they win. It's not a battle of products, it's a battle of perception. HTC needs to create their own category be first in that category, and then promote the category. Whether that's virtual reality, or some sort of new camera device or wearable device, that's what HTC's gotta do. There's no long-term profitability being fourth or fifth in a category. Let's hope HTC can do it. So as a geek, I'm sure you've had the responsibility of helping your coworkers solve their computer problems. Sometimes you wanna go in and show them how to fix it themselves, or just do it for them. And GoToAssist helps you do just that. 
With GoToAssist remote support, you can provide live or unattended support to any computer or any mobile device. Screen share with employees and diagnose and fix their support problems faster and more effectively. And use GoToAssist apps to deliver support anytime, anywhere from your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. With the new See It feature, people can stream their smartphone's camera to GoToAssist, so you can even see whether something's wrong in the hardware. If you sign up today, you can get a 30-day free trial, no contract, no credit card needed. Visit GoToAssist.com and click on Try It Free Now. And if you purchase a GoToAssist annual plan before March 31st, you get a free Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 as well. Thanks for watching guys. So please, I want to hear from you. What do you think HTC should do to turn their ship around? Let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to read them. You don't want to forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the tech ninja, Kevin, Lon, and Chris, Gary, and Ash, and Taylor, all working super hard to be your source for all things Android. Mm -hmm.